I know it's been a while. What's up, Matthew? What's up? What's up, guys? So we're here today. We're going over Matthew 3, right? Mm -hmm. Matthew. Not me. Not him. He said not him. This time he had the joke. It wasn't me. So Matthew 3. And we got River here joining us today. Yeah. We've been at our, my niece's birthday. She's my adopted niece. Um, today she, well, a couple days ago, she turned three, posted her on my Insta, and she's totally cute. Anyways, um, so we went to go celebrate today, and that was awesome. And, um, hang out with a couple people we haven't seen for a while, and I got to pray for somebody. Um, if y'all could keep her in your prayers as well, her name is Linda, um, She's dealing with, uh, I can't even say the name, Asperger's, I think it is. Um, so, um, and she's on oxygen and just really struggling to walk. But um, God loves her so much. She, um, and she loves hope. And it was just evident by the fact that she came to that party because she could have stayed at home but she fought she got herself up she got herself dressed or with her family's help but she you know she did it and she walked across i was watching her and i was just like that girl is a warrior that woman is a warrior she walked across that park and she went and she enjoyed the party with everybody as much as she could you know because you could tell that she was in pain and she was struggling but um got a chance to pray for her and it was just awesome it was awesome awesome it's awesome <laughs> yeah um so we're gonna start out with some prayer and then jump into this word amen matthew how about you pray today okay yeah he's a prayer warrior right here <laughs> thank you god for this day thank you for enjoying that party uh, thank you for everyone that's watching, and I hope everyone's having a great day like us. Um, uh, amen. In amen. Jesus' name, amen. Jesus name, amen. Awesome. So prayer is just a conversation with God. You don't have to be all. For thou art thou, she, oh, beloved. But it, you know, we can have reverence for God, but it's not true. Conversation with God. Let God be your best friend. Amen. Okay. Matthew well, 3, right? All right. Okay. John the Baptist prepares the way. In those days, John the Baptist came preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he who was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, The voice of the one in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Now John himself was clothed in camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist. And his food was locusts and wild honey. You know what I think so funny? In movies, they always... Not all movies, but most of the movies. I think except for the Chosen series. I They have depicted John the Baptist as like this super old guy. And, you know, of course he's wild and all that stuff. That stuff they did right. But like, that he was super old. But John the Baptist... Was the same age as Jesus. Right, he was like a few <laughs> months older. <laughs> it's funny. They okay. probably like just think that because like uh, he was like struggling, so he's all like old. He wasn't um, struggling. Oh, he wasn't? No. Oh. Now John himself was clothed in... Oh, we read that part. Then Jerusalem, all today, and all the region around the Jordan went out to him and were baptized by him 
in the Jordan confessing their sins. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to his baptism, he said to them, Brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Therefore, bear fruits worthy of repentance. And do not think to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. For I say to you that God is able to raise up children to Abraham from these stones. And even now the axe is laid to the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree which does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Ooh. That's just like so crazy. <laughs> Don't we talk about bearing good fruit? What does that mean? The maybe like helping helping people come to Jesus. Uh, that's one of them. And to, and what is a what does a tree produce? It tr produces fruit, right? Yeah. So it either produces good fruit or it produces bad fruit. So if we were a tree, and we're connecting, we're connected to the living water. We're gonna produce good fruit. Who's the living water? Jesus, right? So what would be an example of if we're reading God's word? Because Jesus is the word in the John one one. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God with God, and the Word was God, right? Yeah, remember uh, Jesse Duplantis has his Bible. Oh, yeah. He said, he said this is Jesus. Right, right, right. So this, this, if this is Jesus, and we're connected to Jesus, and we're reading our Word, then what do you think our life is going to be like? Of God. It's going to be of God, right? It's going to have, so our life is the fruit that we bear. So if we're reading the word and we have a relationship, it's not just reading the word. It's actually having a relationship. We talk to God. We ask God to guide us and direct us. Then we have a relationship with Jesus. And then our fruit is going to be good fruit. So, um, you know, it's going to, it's going to be an example of what the word of God says. So we're going to love our neighbor as ourselves. We're going to love God, right? He's going to be our number one. We're not going to have all these idols. Yeah, and since we're good, we since we read the word, not only read the word, but have a relationship with God, we, get, we bear good fruit. Bear good fruit, but right? it, Even if you read the word, you still bear bad fruit, right? Um... Yes, there's people that read the word and just are legalistic and they don't have like a real relationship with Jesus and they just go off of what the word says. Isaiah, come here. Come here. Come here. You touching the camera? Come here, come say hi. <laughs> come say hi. Oh, God bless you. <laughs> right? So they don't have, they don't have, a, we're matching today. Did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> Mommy did that on accident. We're matching. Um, so they're going to bear good fruit. They're not going to be cussing. They're not going to be, you know, sometimes, sometimes a tree has to be trimmed. You know what I'm saying? When you first come to the Lord, there's, there's, there's things, there's branches that need to be cut off. There's fruit that needs to be cut off. It needs to be given the right nutrients, the right, you know, to get filled with the word of God, get closer to Jesus, get, build that relationship, get stronger, you know. And, and those those bad fruit going to be cut off, and there's going to be good fruit that grows, right? Because mommy didn't always not cuss, and mommy didn't always not listen to worldly music or do certain things you know yeah but you used to cuss right and then you stop cussing like just cussing but you used to cuss a little bit now you don't cuss at all i heard you cuss for like eight months eight months you guys heard it from mouth of i said a couple things i'm not gonna lie i said a couple things well um, not actual cussing yeah like you said the 
fake apple. Yeah. The one that people use. I don't know what that means, but we're oh. going to move on. We're going to move on. And um, so he's saying, he's saying, where are we at? Oh, uh, and even now, this axe is laid at the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree which does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. So basically what he's saying is, y'all ain't even a good tree altogether. So we're just going to take this axe at your roots and just chop you down and cast you into the fire. And he's not talking about a regular fire. He's talking about. What is he? What is he talking about? He's talking about hell. And people don't think that hell is real, but hell is real. Heaven is real. God is real. The devil is real. Demons are real. He the devil tries to make you think people he's can not be real. possessed and oppressed. What does that oppress mean? Oppress means basically what mommy was going through, where. What does possession mean? I have, right? So, possessed means the demon has that person. Like, they're able to literally control this person. Like, uh, there are certain celebrities that literally allow demons to possess them. Um, and use them. And use them. Like, uh, my couple of my friends were listening to their... We were listening to their... Um, YouTube channel that they just started and it was fire. My friend it was Isla it was really cool. and Tarika. Oh my gosh, it was fire. And we were listening to it and it was talking. It mentions uh, Marilyn Monroe and how before she would go to be on scene, um, she would literally change to a completely different person because it wasn't her. She was possessed. So, you know, there's just. So that's possession. So like, th this is this is somebody's body, and the demon possesses it. So they're literally, I'm gonna walk over here. I'm gonna walk over here. I'm gonna say this. You know what I mean? So um, that's possession. Oppression is where the demon is there. Um, it could be around. It could be within the person. Um. And it basically manipulates uh, their life in certain areas. So they don't have full control um, because the person is a son of God. And they um, have given their life over to Jesus, but they haven't cleaned out the temple yet. Or maybe they've cleaned it out, but they've uh, fallen backslidden and letting things in or maybe they unknowingly let things in there's so many ways because the enemy is crafty yeah and he's slick and he doesn't say he's not like holy spirit my friend was talking about this too he's not like holy spirit to where you know you you say lord i let you into my life come, please come into my life it's like, no, you open the door a little bit, and he, he's like, hey, and he just walks. He's, he's like, like watching it. He's like, he's like that, <laughs> that weird neighbor that comes over and knocks on your door all the time. And, and just, you open the door to say, to just answer the door, and they just walk in, and they act like your fridge is their fridge, and or your like house that. is their or house. Your, friend just, on the your friends are their friends, your marriage is their marriage, or... They don't want you to be married or they take over your bed, your 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 life, right? But they're that's how the devil is. He, he yeah. Wants. He's like he okay, so like you even do something little, he's just like watching the door and he even creeps up and he just Right. He's gonna barge his way in there, right? Yeah. Okay. Um like I like someone we watched named Isaiah Salvador, he said he said that, um People just say it's just a little bit, right. just a little bit, and they That's keep just saying that he keeps saying it's a little bit, become, but it becomes more and more and more and you know. more and more. Oh, true. Why are you so scared of me? 
This is Razzle. You barely see him on camera. He's, he's, he's upset me. right now because ah, Matthew's oh, holding you're him. Scared of me. And he's telling him how it is. Okay, so um Bless me. Um, verse 11. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. But he who is coming after me is mightier than I. And baptizes me with the Holy Spirit. Whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fan is in his hand. And he will thoroughly clean out his threshing floor and gather his wheat into the barn. But he will burn up the chaff with the unquenchable fire. Um, it's funny that, so God just brought into my memory a, a dream that I had. I can't say when I had it, but um, I was basically an, portrayed, God portrayed me as like, an, I knew it was me. But um, as like an older Jewish man, and I had on like what they would, the priests would wear, but I had on like these big black uh, business shoes, and um, I had been in an accident, and that's why I was at a hospital, and, but I was on this operating table, and there's just this bright light on me, and I had on this outfit, and um, I had like these wounds on my elbows, I'm not sure, I still have been revealed what that is i had these wounds on my elbows and um i was being put through the refining fire right and like i was just screaming i don't know i don't know but it was like it was like a purifying thing right so like so like it says he'll baptize us in the holy spirit and with fire and i think that and fire part is so important so so important and i know god will reveal it to us because that fire that's what gets rid of those things that's what gets rid of those uh, oppressive familiar spirits that's what gets rid of it the fire of god and that's why it's so important to read your word and to have a relationship with because, God, because that's where the fire comes from. Yeah, because when you don't have a relationship with Jesus, it's just like you can easily just go away from him because you never, you never talk to him. Right. Exactly. Let me see him. Why are you so scared, Let me see him. man? <laughs> he's shivering when he's even in my presence. I go, he runs to the room. <laughs> Why do you smell like coffee? What you been doing all day? Are you upset? Are you upset? You wanna go hide? You wanna go play? You're looking at your sister. Is your sister playing? Okay. I'm gonna hold you for a little bit so you calm down. No. No. Okay. Alright, I'll let you go. He wants to go play. Oh, he sees oh, a Oh, he always does that. He sees a fly. That's what it was. He wanted to go catch that fly. I was like, why do you keep looking over there? Yeah. Okay. So, verse 13. Then Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. And John tried to, did you almost yawn? John tried to be baptized by him. And John, oh, wait. then Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. Verse 14. And John tried to prevent him saying, I need to be baptized by you. And are you coming to me? But Jesus answered and said to him, Permit it to be so now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Uh. Then he allowed him. When he had been baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water, 
And behold, the heavens were opened to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting upon him. I looked up the word alighting. Oh, man, you don't have your phone. I can't remember what uh, alighting meant, meant. But it basically, oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> it means to descend. Um, like, like, not just descend, but like, enter almost. That was the best way to describe it. Enter. So when it says alighting, it means to align with Jesus. To align with him. Inside of him. Upon him. Within him. Um, and suddenly a voice came from heaven saying, This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Amen. 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 Um, and recently actually um, I had the, that part highlighted because I was um, watching this video and he was basically is by David I want to say his last name is Diga. Um, he has another video that confused me, but this one was like spot on about the Holy Spirit and just saying how, um, you know, we when we accept Jesus into our lives, right, oh, and we ask man. Holy Spirit to enter into us, then He enters into with our spirit as one it's like like, we're kinda, like a marriage like remember that girl said that i'm my body's no longer mine right yeah it's like that it's just it's not like we are now that's why we are now his temple right so you know and, right and just like how um i gotta remember where it's at but in um the story of when the, they were rebuilding the temple and there was actually somebody staying inside the temple and they had to kick him out right they had to exit him and there's many rooms in the temple there's many places in the temple right so all the all the rooms of the temple need to be filled by god right so it's just a matter of time and a lot of work and fire Holy Spirit and fire. Amen. <laughs> so that's Matthew 3. Next time we'll be reading Matthew 4. Josiah isn't here today. He is at his dad's house. But I really felt like we needed to do this today. And God has his reasons for it. And we're just going to continue to trust him. Mm -hmm. And Always. I am going to put my friends... Um, YouTube channel below it's in the good. comments. It's good. Fire. I mean, they already got, they already got their little studio. They got their mic. It was really. Cool. I was like, I, like I, I want to move to Florida, and I want to be like the third Musketeer because they are awesome. And um, but no, I appreciate God and where He has me today. He wants me to do this with my little munchkins and I'm going to trust him that he has a plan and a purpose right? Yep. Always does. Always. What's mommy's yeah. number one rule? Trust, trust in God. God. Trust in God. Right. That we would, mommy would say that huh? We, I would be crying or huh? I'd be crying and I'd be going through something and I'd say what's my, what's my number one rule? And they would be like what is wrong with her? But, Matthew would always get it right. Jojo would come up with some deep something or the other. He'd say something. I don't know. But He'd I say something like super random like, or. It would make. It would. It would like. It would like be something good, but it would just be so much longer. Right. You make it extra. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'd be like, no, trust God. That's all I want us to do. Trust God. He'd be like, oh yeah, trust God. Now he has it down. Now yeah. he has it down. But it was funny. Yeah. So, but I pray this bless you. And I pray that uh, you receive that everything God has for you to receive. 
Um, it says, your kingdom come, his will be done. So, his will is for us to be, have a good life, right? Have it. That's, I don't know. And make sure you put on your full armor. armor go. Every day, put on your full armor. Go. Ephesians, go. Gonna, go, say it. Stand there for having, okay, I'll do it slow. Stand there for having girded your waist with the belt of truth and putting on the breastplate of righteousness and having shod your feet with the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the Lord, taking the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Ephesians 6 14. Yeah, he always tries to beat us out and saying it, so I had him say it. You know, I do it really fast. He, he does it really fast and. And that helps you memorize it, but me and Joseph will get left behind. Yeah, that's why I do it slow. I do it at their pace at first, and then it's super fast. And then he does it, and he shows off at the end. <laughs> and that's what he does. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want to pray us out? Uh, yeah. Okay, he's going to pray us out. Thank you, God, for the Bible study, and thank you for this day. Thank you for this, uh, my mom's phone to be able to do this, because my phone wouldn't work. And the, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, shout amen. Amen. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, shout amen. <laughs> amen. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, and your face will surely show it. If you're happy <laughs> and you know it, shout amen. <laughs> amen. <laughs> That's Isaiah's favorite part. All right. Bye for now. Love y'all. Keep you in your prayers. Bye. Bye.